What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, back with another video today on the channel. Look, man, if this is your first time tuning into the channel, if you like fragrance and fashion, that's what I talk about on this channel. So if that is you, male or female, I invite you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button and take another quick second to hit the bell icon as well, just to make sure when I upload new content, you don't miss out and you get notified. So guys, on today's video, I'm going to be talking about 10 niche fragrances in my collection that you need in your collection. Like these are 10 of the best of niche fragrances I have in my collection. Now these are 10 of my favorites. Now I will admit, I love niche fragrances and there are a lot of them that I love, but these are just 10 that I want to talk about today. Some of them I haven't talked about as much, but of course there will be some uh, familiar faces on this list. But that's what we're going to be talking about today. 10 niche fragrances in my collection that you need to know about. Also on today's video, guys, you don't want to miss it. You want to stick around because I have a huge announcement and I thought that I would dress for the occasion. <laughs> I'm rocking my one of my favorite is now one of my favorite ties in my entire collection. This is this red and white tie. A lot of you guys out there may know why I love red and white so much. But it's a nice red and white tie from Tom Ford with a matching pocket square with the red and white coordinating. Nice double breasted suit from Spear and McKay. You know how we do, baby. We keep it fresh over here on this channel, man. But I have a huge announcement that I want to talk about today. So make sure you stick around because you don't want to miss what I have to say. But anyway, man, enough about all that. You know, if you want to hear what 10 fragrances made this list as well as hear this huge announcement, then you know the routine, man. You know how we get down. Keep it locked right here. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in, man. We're going to go ahead and jump right into this video. The first fragrance up on the list today comes from the house of Parfums de Marley, and this one is Pegasus Exclusive. Pegasus Exclusive. Now, the original Pegasus, I absolutely adore that fragrance as well, but man, I really, really like the exclusive version of that fragrance. They added a little bit of oud, a little bit of amber and guide wood on this fragrance. They'll give it a little bit more depth, make it a little bit more interesting. And I really like what they did in this one. So if you are a fan of the original, which the keynotes in that was the heliotrope and the almond. So it maintained the integrity of the original, but they just took it to the next level with exclusive. So man, this is definitely one that you need to know about. Definitely a fragrance on the niche side, things that you need to have in your collection. So check this one out from the House of Parfums of Marley. Pegasus exclusive. All right, guys, now the moment that we've all been waiting for. Look, I know a lot of you guys don't stick around to the end of the video, so I want to go ahead and go ahead and drop this information on you. And you guys have spoken and I have listened. I read my comment section and I know that you guys have been asking me, when am I coming out with my own fragrances? And guess what? Now is the time. That's right. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy, I am bringing two fragrances to the market. I've been working on this project. Uh, for the last several months. Actually, ever since November, I've been working on this project. I have uh, teamed up with two master perfumers to bring two fragrances to you guys. And you already know, if I had something to do with it, it's going to be fire. It's gonna be fire. And I promise you, I will not disappoint. I am going to deliver, guys. You know what I always talk about. Listen, I know as guys, we love to smell good for ourselves, but guys, let's be honest, man. We know we love it when the ladies, you know, attracted to what we wear. So I kept that in mind. I got you, fellas. I got you. And these two fragrances, I'm just telling you right now, they're fire. They're fire. You're going to love the way that they smell on you, and the ladies are going to love how they smell on you. So I cannot wait. <laughs> I cannot wait until, you know, I can tell you guys more about uh, these two fragrances and more about this project that I worked on. But guys, I'm just letting you know right now, there's not going to be a whole lot of bottles when they come out. So when they do drop, you want to make sure that you're in the right place at the right time to make sure you get your hands on these because I'm telling you right now, these are two straight fire 
fragrances. So we're gonna be talking about that more as we move forward in the next couple of weeks, but I just wanna go ahead and let you guys know, now is the time. It's time for your boy to give you what you've been waiting for. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, man, again, I'm gonna go ahead and drop that on you for today. Let's go ahead and move on to the next fragrance. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list, uh, I've been wearing this one a lot as of late, and I really love this one. This is one you definitely need to check on, and it's from bond number nine. It's called Tribeca. It's called Tribeca, and look, this one right here, I will admit it does have those uh, vibes of Baccarat Rouge 540, but it has some, some cacao and hazelnut in this fragrance, so that really gives this a little bit more of, of course, you, as you can imagine, that gourmand uh, kind of twist to that fragrance DNA is very very unique man but I'm telling you this is one that I love and it's one that I highly recommend so I recommend you put your nose on this if you can from the house of bond number nine this is called Tribeca. All right guys the next fragrance on the list I haven't talked about it as much on this channel but it's a classic it's one you definitely need to get your nose on if you are a person that loves niche perfumery at its finest the art of fragrances this is one that you'll enjoy from the house of Amwaz this is called Jubilation 25. Jubilation 25 and honestly guys there's not a lot to to not like about this fragrance right here it is just very very it's smoky it's resinous it's sweet it's woody it's everything the notes on this thing is longer than an encyclopedia so I won't try to get into all the notes but incense of Papanax you have some blackberry as a standout note uh, in this fragrance as well but it's just absolutely gorgeous man put your nose on this you have to smell this at least once from the house of Unwise. It's Jubilation 25. All right, the next fragrance on this list, this one comes from the house of Bikilia, and this is called Apple Brandy. This one is called Apple Brandy. Now, Apple Brandy to me is the more woodier, drier version of Angel Share. And you guys know how much I love Angel Share, but this is a more niche version of Angel Share, if that makes sense. Angel Share is a little bit sweeter a little bit more mass appealing but this is the niche version the niche version of that fragrance is drier you get more of that aged um cedar wood kind of note in here uh you can really really this can really transport you in your mind to uh you know rum uh sitting in uh cedar wood barrels and aging oak barrels and aging uh, for years and years. You really get that quality in this fragrance, but this stuff is absolutely gorgeous how it combined with the apple uh, accord in this fragrance. Beautiful scent. You gotta put your nose on this at least once. Get a sample of it. You'll thank me later. From the house of By Killian, this is called Apple Brandy. Guys, the next fragrance on this list needs no introduction. I talk about this fragrance all the time, but I will talk about it until everybody in the world <laughs> samples this fragrance because it is that daggone good. One of my absolute freight favorite fragrances in the world. This is Portrait of a Man. <laughs> Portrait of a Man, yes, I have officially renamed this fragrance because it is Portrait of a Man. Now, it's unisex. Men and women alike can wear it, so don't let the name Portrait of a Lady fool you. I have renamed it Portrait of a Man, so guys, when we wear it, just let them know you're wearing Portrait of a Man and tell them Bowtie Fragrance Guy said that's the name of the fragrance. <laughs> but man, this is just rose and patchouli at its finest got some incense in there as well this is just a beautiful scent man listen it's not the most mass appealing i think because it's one that again you would have to be a, a, a lover and uh, a person that appreciates fine niche perfumery but man when you put it on you'll see what i'm talking about so check it out from the house of frederick mall portrait of a lady or in our case portrait of a man all right guys the next fragrance on the list this one is a little bit more of a more recent acquisition i got this fragrance this year but uh, it immediately moved all the way up the rank for me as my number one fragrance from the house of Roja Dove, and this is Sweetie Oud. Sweetie Oud from Roja Dove. And just simply put, man, this smells like you walk into a bakery. Hands down, that's what it smells like. And I love that. You get this really, really nice, creamy, almost buttery accord. Somehow, I don't know what, what accord, what, what's used to create that accord, but that's what you get from this. And again, it just smells like fresh bread and fresh pastries being baked in a bakery. Uh, early in the morning, you walk in and they've just gotten uh, the pastries in the bed, in the oven, and it's baking. And you can smell all the ingredients. <sighs> Gorgeous gourmand scent right here from Rosie Dove. 
It's expensive, but if you can get a sample, just check it out from the House of Rosie Dove. This is called Sweetie Ooh. The next fragrance on the list, another one that I talk about a lot, so it really needs no introduction, but man, one of my favorite fragrances in my collection, Baccarat Rouge 540. Baccarat Rouge 540. Now this is the Extract de Parfum. I show this one a lot more so than the uh, EDP now because that one's almost gone. And this one is, I've only used about five ml out of this so far. But it is of course it the Extract. It smells very similar to the EDP, but they have that bitter almond accord in this. And uh, you can definitely detect a slight difference between the two. This one does stick around a little bit longer than the EDP. But man, it's just an amazing fragrance. Again, there's evidence of that because there's probably about at least 20 uh, duplicates or clones of this fragrance out there now. It's almost becoming as popular as Creed Aventus. So that speaks volumes to how good the fragrance is. So if you have a chance, definitely, man, check this one out. This is Baccarat Rouge 540. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, this one comes from the house of BDK Parfums, and this is called Grease Charnel. Grease Charnel, and I love this because I love sandalwood, and I note that I've been really appreciating more as of late fig. Sandalwood and fig are the two main notes that you're gonna get in this, and this stuff is just super sexy. I talked before about uh, by Killian Sacred Wood. This one kind of gives me Sacred Wood vibes. So because Sacred Wood is discontinued, although I heard it's coming back one day, uh, but because Sacred Wood is discontinued, if you want, if you want to get uh, a, a, a understanding of what it smelled like, then put your nose on this one right here, man, from the house of BDK Parfums, an amazing sandalwood-based fragrance. This is called Grease Chanel. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, I haven't really talked about this fragrance a lot on the channel, but it is a masterpiece from the house of Jurjoff. This is called Alexandria 2. Alexandria 2, and this is another one of those fragrances that has that cinnamon and apple combination. That's a very popular pairing of notes, just like you see rose and oud. You oftentimes see in fragrances where they have apple and cinnamon. It's a nice combination uh, to put together. And in addition to that, man, just listen to some of the other notes. Amber, you have oud, you have vanilla, sandalwood. <laughs> Amazing fragrance. One that I definitely think you should check out from the House of Jerjoff. Again, this is called Alexandria 2. And last but not least, I hate to be anticlimactic, but it is what it is. Of course, you know I had to put this one on the list. It's this one right here. Creed Aventus. And guys, this is the 17 in on one batch. And now that I've had a chance to smell some of the uh, more recent batches, I can definitely see where people make a lot of hype about different batches. This is said to be one of the best batches, and I would have to agree. You get a great balance of the smokiness and the pineapple in this batch, and I love this stuff. I got about half the bottle left, if you can see that. I got about half the bottle left, so I'm gonna slow down on using this, and I'm actually gonna purchase a more recent formulation so I can wear that. I also have this, uh, this big boy right here that I've been getting decants out of. So uh, I'll probably just start to decant this out until um, well, I'll decant this out, and when that's gone, then I may go back to this or use a new bottle. But uh, I love this stuff, always have, always will, and that's why it's on the list. It's a classic. Of course, that's Creed Aventus. All right, guys, that's it. That's my time. I hope you enjoyed this video as I gave you 10 niche fragrances that you need to know about, 10 niche fragrances that you need in your collection. As always, I appreciate your time and attention to these videos because, of course, you could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're right here with me, and I sincerely appreciate that. Now, don't forget to take a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And go ahead and share these videos out to folks that you think can use this information or find me entertaining because I'm your guy, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.